whether we sell conveyors, whether we build conveyors, make conveyors, use or work on conveyors, they have problems. And what I want to hopefully discover today is some of the five biggest problems that users face when they're not or things are missed during design, build, upgrades, or those early stages of conveyors. So let's get into it. Number four, lack of access. Let's talk a little bit about that. Maintenance staffs, operators, they've got to have access to inspect and e adjust the equipment. Now, we're going to recommend that Martin Engineering, if we're going to rebuild a transfer point, we're always going to recommend what we call head and shoulders access. What that means is we want our guys, we want your guys to be able to get an arm and a shoulder and maybe even a head into that opening so they can make adjustments or inspections. Inspection doors where you can just see are fine, but if you if the structure allows you to make a bigger access point where you can get an arm and a shoulder in there to make that job a little bit easier, that's going to be beneficial. And that's also going to make the job a lot faster as well. Now, one thing I need to add about inspection doors is you want to make sure that they're sealing properly. They've got to have a rubber gasket around it. You want to make sure it's not just metal on metal. If you have metal on metal without a rubber gasket to seal that door, and uh, a proper clamp to make sure that door's secured, you're probably going to have increased dust at that transfer point. So you want to make sure you look at this photo, the door at the top here doesn't look to be sealed and doesn't look to have anything to uh, fasten it shut. However, it's large. So I like that. The only thing I do differently here is I make sure there's a seal around it. Now, if you look at the door on the bottom, it's a little more, uh, you, you can see that rubber seal around the outside. You can see all that there's a latch. That's going to keep that door shut. That's going to keep that air out of that transfer point. That's going to reduce dust on the other end. You want to make sure that components like belt cleaners, belts, any rolling component that might be sealed off with shoot work, uh, they need to be available for maintenance and inspection. For the gang that are designing building conveyors, I'm going to give you a, a phrase that I often use in our live classes that tends to not get disagreement. Here's that phrase. Maintenance jobs that are tough to do don't get done. And the reason they don't get done is because a lot of these facilities, a lot of the mines, a lot of the process plants that you're building or designing conveyor for, they simply don't have the workforce to do those tasks that are very challenging to do. So if we give them component access on their conveyors, the likelihood of that maintenance being done quicker and safer and more often is a lot, lot greater for them. Components should be strategically placed and you want to make sure you take into consideration any safety considerations uh, with those um, inspection doors. So here's what I mean by that. If you're operating a conveyor, if you're using conveyor, maintaining conveyor, uh, you should make sure that uh, there's protocol that says that a worker will not break the plane. It's 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 fine to reach into those doors, inspection doors to access equipment, but only when you're locked out and tagged out. Best in class safety regulations, gold bar standard for safety, the facilities that are really holding their workers accountable for being safe usually have policies that says you do not break a plane, do not break the plane of a conveyor without it being locked out and tagged out. I want to show you, if you look at the photo on the right, you can see now you can buy inspection doors that have another level of security to them or another level of safety by adding a panel in there to eliminate certain people's ability to access 